This story is about Adam Lanza, a 20-year-old man who killed 20 kids and 8 adults, including his own mother and himself, on December 14, 2012 at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. If you like hearing stories about people who suck, click on the like and subscribe buttons. Adam Peter Lanza was born on April 22, 1992 in Exeter, New Hampshire. His father is Peter Lanza, who is from Kingston, New Hampshire, and is currently a tax director. His mother was Nancy Lanza, who grew up on a farm in New Hampshire with three siblings. She was a former stockbroker turned stay-at-home mom who was a gun enthusiast and collector. He has a brother named Ryan Lanza, who currently works as an accountant. At the age of three, Lanza exhibited developmental disorders, which included difficulty communicating and socializing. He also had sensory difficulties and repetitive behaviors. He was put in special ed in preschool. He attended Sandy Hook Elementary School, during which time he was diagnosed with a sensory integration disorder and autism. In the fifth grade, he wrote a book called The Big Book of Granny with a Friend. In it, he wrote about child murder, cannibalism, and taxidermy, and included graphic drawings about murder. He then attended Newtown Middle School, during which time he was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome. He then went to Newtown High School, during which time he was diagnosed with Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, or OCD. He often washed his hands and changed his socks 20 times a day, which caused his mother to do three loads of laundry a day. He also used tissues to provide a barrier between his hand and doorknobs whenever he needed to open a door. He usually went through a box of tissue every day. Despite his problems, he managed to make the honor roll in high school. The students and teachers described him as intelligent but nervous and fidgety. He did not socialize and did not have any friends. Due to his anxiety, he dropped out of high school and got his GED instead of graduating. Lanza was receiving mental health treatment and medication, but stopped after 2006. He would have been 14 years old at the time. A report from the Office of the Child Advocate stated, In the course of Lanza's entire life, minimal mental health evaluation and treatment was obtained. Of the couple of providers that saw him, only one, the Yale Child Study Center, seemed to appreciate the gravity of his presentation. His need for extensive mental health and special education supports and the critical need for medication to ease his obsessive compulsive symptoms. When he was 17, Lanza's parents divorced and he ended up living with his mother. His brother was already an adult and lived on his own. His mother got more than enough alimony money in the divorce settlement to be a stay-at-home mom and never work again. He had a falling out with his father because Lanza wanted to take a full load of college courses, but his father said that Lanza would not be able to handle it and to be realistic. This would be the last time Lanza would ever speak with his father. Lanza became a recluse and never let other people into his room, not even his own mother. He taped black plastic garbage bags over the windows in his bedroom to block out sunlight. He cut all contact with his parents at the age of 18 even though he was still living with his mother. It got a bit awkward because he would only communicate with his mother via email even though they lived in the same house. The only people he would communicate with were fellow online gamers. He also obsessively played the game Dance Dance Revolution, or DDR. During his time in his room, Lanza would obsessively read articles about mass shootings such as the Columbine, Virginia Tech, and Northern Illinois University shootings. He would clip articles about shootings from the New York Times. He watched videos of gunshot suicides and movies that showed school shootings. He even took a couple of pictures of himself while pointing guns at his own head. He also wrote a document titled Selfish, focusing on explaining why females are selfish. He also expressed extremely hostile opinions about women and sexuality. Some people speculate that because the only woman he had any long-term contact with was his mother, he was referring to her. He also began writing a screenplay called Love Bound, which revolved around pedophilia and described it as an acceptable form of love. This sparked the debate about whether or not Lanza himself was a pedophile. He wrote about his thoughts on parenthood and how he thought he would be a phenomenal father because he would foster a free environment where his child could do anything. He would not treat his kid like a pet that could talk, but rather like a little person who doesn't know very much. He wrote that he would not subject his child to his opinions and would encourage them to think for themselves. He also became anorexic, which combined with his autism and OCD could have produced cognitive impairment and risk of suicide. Lanza's mother eventually decided to move him to another town and planned on buying an RV for him to stay in so that potential buyers could view the house without bothering him. However, this sudden change coupled by his fear of leaving the comfort zone of his home caused further mental deterioration. On Friday, December 14, 2012, Lanza took one of his mother's guns and walked to her bedroom. His mother was in bed wearing her pajamas, unaware of the danger right outside her door. Lanza entered his mother's bedroom and shot his own mother four times in the head. He then took some of his mother's guns, which included a Bushmaster rifle, a Saiga shotgun, a six-hour handgun, and a Glock handgun. He drove his mother's car to Sandy Hook Elementary School and wore black clothing, yellow earplugs, sunglasses, and an olive green utility vest. He entered the school by shooting through a glass panel next to the locked front door. 
His first victims were Principal Don Hotchsprung and his school psychologist Mary Sherlock, who were shot and killed. He then shot a teacher named Natalie Hammond, but she managed to survive. He then entered a classroom filled with first graders and killed the substitute teacher, Lauren Russo, a behavioral therapist named Rachel Devino, and 15 children. He then went to another classroom filled with first graders and killed the teacher, Victoria Soto, a special ed teacher named Anne Marie Murphy, and five more children. The police were called, but before they could enter the building and engage him, Lanza took out the Glock handgun he brought with him, pressed it against his head, and pulled the trigger. After Lanza committed suicide, an autopsy was performed and showed that there were no drugs or alcohol in his system and there were no tumors or gross deformities in his brain. His brother, Ryan, was questioned by police and said that he had not been in touch with Adam in years. He said that his brother was sick, didn't talk to anyone, and that he didn't know his brother anymore. The police did not consider Ryan to be a suspect and released Ryan after questioning him. His father, Peter Lanza, said in an interview that in hindsight, Adam would have killed his father in a heartbeat if he had the chance. His father also admits that he wished that Adam had never been born. Parents of the victims sued the city of Newtown and the Newtown Board of Education, alleging inadequate security at the school. Lawsuits were also filed against Nancy Lanza's estate. One of the parents, Leonard Posner, was awarded $450,000 in a lawsuit against writer James Fetzer, who claimed that Posner fabricated the death certificate of his son who died in the shooting. A class action lawsuit was also filed against Remington, which was settled for $73 million. Parents were awarded a total of $49.3 million for compensatory and punitive damages in a lawsuit filed against Alex Jones for claiming that the shooting was a hoax. Politicians seized the opportunity to use the shooting as a platform for anti-gun laws. That's the end of this video. If you liked the video, click on the like and subscribe buttons. It only takes two seconds and it would really help me out. Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel.